So we're here at uh, 440 Highland Drive in the Poconos. This is uh, the second property we're seeing today. We just bought this one too. Definitely a little bit more beat up than the first one, um, but it's a gated community. Pretty f tough for us to get inside. A little bit smaller, but has the Poconos cabin feel, which is really cool. You got another, another deer hanging out. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's go. Check it out. All right. We were just looking at the pictures and kind of planning out what we're going to do with this one. Yeah, this is the uh, basement entrance. Uh -huh. The main entrance is upstairs for the deck. Yeah. But basement area and garage over here. Uh -huh. This is more like it. Yeah, this, this is more like a, our speed in terms of uh, the renovation a renovation wise, properties. Yeah. A little smelly. And, and, even, and even this is in, is in good shape. It's you know? like, in better shape it, than it, most. It looks bad after coming from that other property. <laughs> yeah, that but, was like, but this one's this one's in pretty good shape. This around. is in pretty good shape. Yeah. So more our speed. If that's if that's the worst that uh, we can experience, then so be it. Yeah, we'll take, it. <laughs> take it. Down here would just be laundry. Maybe keep like the extra fridge possibly down yeah. here, but that's wash and dryer. Let's go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, so this is your main your main entry right here. Yeah. Coming in. Love it. Nice. Yeah, nice. this is like the cabin feel for the Poconos. This yeah. is the classic feel, ca classic look for it. You got the high vaulted ceilings. Yep. You got an actual fireplace. Does this work? Yeah, this might actually work. Yeah, this is a wood burner. So mm. I'm sure we have to get something serviced on it. Yeah. You know, either the flu or um, just make sure everything's working mm -hmm. properly. There's a lot of outdoor space with this one too. So we got a sliding door here that goes to a kind of separate patio area. Does this wrap around? You can go around. Yeah, it wraps around. Okay. Yeah. So you can go towards the front of the house. Yeah. Love the natural light that that's these doors and windows are bringing in. Yeah. Oh, buddy. <laughs> so cool. Too. Yeah. Let me fix the screens. Right. The color and whatnot. Right. Um, and that's a, that's a similar raw uh, exterior finish. Yeah. The windows are. We're changing out the windows, right? Yeah. Real. Yeah. A lot of them are broken too. Are they? Yeah. They don't, a lot of them don't work properly. Uh -huh. Some of them are rotted. And then the same thing. The doors. These doors really aren't functional. Yeah. Kitchen is think? decent. Yeah. The kitchen uh, layout layout will probably remain. Uh, pretty much the same. Yeah. Same thing. We'll leave this uh, this peninsula here mm -hmm. with the overhang for a couple of stools, mm -hmm. and then and then keep like a table over there. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And the idea is to run this this hardwood straight through. So okay. Remove the tile and yeah. then just run hardwood straight through, and then everything would just be all all wood in okay. the kitchen area and as well down here. Okay. And then that would carry straight into over here, which is uh, we were talking about how to break this up into um, either two rooms or one room with two beds. Bed and possible futon. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, this is the area we're trying to have to maximize. I think we need to redo. Do we redo it. these? Then these I really stay. don't think we need to redo. Then it. we're definitely leaving those. Yeah, we're leaving yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's that, it's, it's just fine really for this depth. type of property. Yeah, it's just the depth of, of the uh, yeah yeah because that's a lot of work too for up. not much value. Like people is, people they're not really going to care about no. that as like if you're flipping it then yeah that's mm -hmm. a different story. But I don't think it really matters. Just paint it and yeah call it a day. And the view from here, oh man, this is nice. The smell of old carpet. Smells like money. <laughs> <laughs> nice area. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So this is uh, what, what do we say? This could be like a uh, futons. Yeah, I think um, maybe a couple of seats over here, table in the middle, or something that could be slid out of the way so that that futons like dual purpose, like yep. couch slash sleeping area, yep. and then you still have the the seating around here. Okay. So it's I, I think. I think it's a nice size space and, and it's a great feel to the house. Yeah. yeah. This is what the kids room. This, this is, is where bigger or that one's to, bigger. Yeah. This is either, either one you can make it where you have the bunks in it. But, yeah. um, the idea is to take one of these rooms and see if we can get those four bunks in it. Okay. That makes it where I don't know how more, how functional it is. Cause two families, if you have the one queen bed up here, that's one set of adults. Yep. Then you have the other queen bed in the master. Yep. That's the other set of adults. So that's the four adults. Yep. Then you have the room for the, the bunks in yep. here, which could say be four children or more, yep. say. And then if you mix in the futon, there's other areas to sleep in, mm -hmm. but that's the four adults, four children, that's already eight people. Yep. And then you mix in the futon flex area mm -hmm. and or 
if we decide to do something in the basement, which I'm not thinking is the no, not think that's more of like a play. Yeah, yeah, I think it's more yeah. of a game room right. play space. I think comfortably yeah. that's the best setup, right? Yeah. Two families and like four kids, yeah. right? But mm -hmm. you can push it to having three families and ten kids. Yeah, 